Hello, Montessori Academy, Belmont Green Elementary class. Mr. T here for a math lesson. <clears throat> so you guys get your pencils and papers out and bring your math brains to the table and we're gonna do some big number reading and writing. Test out those brains, okay? <clears throat> so here we go. Oh, and <clears throat> in today's exercise, I'm going to use a lot of zero, zeros for place value holding. Remember, the purpose of the zero is really important in our system of numbers. Because <clears throat> when you have a big number, you need zeros if you, have <clears throat> if you have no quantity in a particular place value. So <clears throat> let's start. I'll show you what I mean really simply. <clears throat> So our first number is 50. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, man, hay fever is <clears throat> still running rampant here in, in Virginia. 50. So I got five in a tens place. Got to have that zero in the unit place. Otherwise, the number would just be five units. <clears throat> so remember, place value, zero has a hugely important function in our Western civilization number system, okay? So here we go, remember about that zero. <clears throat> Next number. <clears throat> 340, 340. Write it down. Check it against Mr. T. You got it right, give yourself a check. You got it wrong, X and then write it correctly so you'll learn from your mistakes. That's what we're here to do. We're here to guide you through your mistakes so you can learn what you didn't know. So here we go again. <clears throat> remember, remember Infinity Street. If you know and understand the place value system, that is every family in our number system has a units place, a tens place and a hundreds place. And that when you move from one family to the next family, house on Infinity Street, you gotta have that mailbox. So the postman knows where to deliver the mail. And in our number writing system, that mailbox becomes the comma. And that tells you when you need, when you're reading the number, when you need to say the name of the family, the name of the family of the numbers. <laughs> Remember that, here we go. 5,064. 5,064. And you see we have four in the units place, six in the 10 place, and we have a zero holding down the hundreds place, and all of that is in the Simple family. And then <clears throat> I move on to the next family, starting with units, and I've got five. That's five units in the thousands family. So the way I read this number is 5,000, see the most, uh, see the post office box? 64. Do I say 5,000 and 64? No, we never say and except when we're using fractions. Do I say 5,064? Do I say the zero? No, but it's there holding down that place value. Critical. <clears throat> 68,306. 68,306. <clears throat> now you can always, the great thing about these uh, virtual lessons Mr. T is doing, you know, you can always freeze the video after I give you the problem, work on your solution, and then come back to the video and see Mr. T's solution. There it is. 68,000. 306. 
get the right, check it, get it wrong, exit, and write it correctly. And again, this is a good place to pause, particularly when we get the bigger numbers, so you can write it down correctly and see where your mistake was. <clears throat> Continue to move on down in Finley Street. 342,058. 342,058. 342,058. Note the zero, holding the place value in the hundreds in the simple family. <clears throat> How's those brains? Getting stronger by the minute, right? Here we go. 500 <clears throat> 500 1,420. Say it again. <clears throat> 500,420. 500,420. It's a tricky one, so go ahead and freeze the video if you need to. And come back and see Mr. T, and here's what it looks like. Boo! Look how many zero place value holders we got in there. 500... Thousand, got to say the family because I'm coming to that uh, comma, 420. <clears throat> Want to go to Millions family? I'm ready. Hope you're ready. Here we go. Six million five hundred forty. Two thousand six million five hundred forty two thousand. Freeze the video if you need to. Think about it. Whoa, <clears throat> we've got zero in the simple family. Every place value in a simple family has got a zero in it. But those numbers are important because this is 6,542,000. If I just eliminated those zeros, <clears throat> this number would be 6,542, wouldn't it? So the zeros are critical. They hold the place value. <clears throat> Whenever you guys want to stop, if these numbers get too complex for you, because I know I got first years out there and second years and third years, and you know everybody in our Montessori classroom has a different capability, different understanding of the math curriculum, and that's cool. So if you find <clears throat> this is getting too hard, stop. It's okay, and go and work on something else, right? But I'm going to keep giving some big numbers here for you guys who have an appetite or really want to go after them. So here we go. Three hundred forty two million six hundred fifty four thousand nine hundred twenty six. I'm going to read that three times. Three hundred twenty. Sorry. Three hundred forty two million six hundred fifty four thousand nine hundred twenty six. Write them down as you read them. <clears throat> there it is. 342,654,926. We've got a whole number in each of the place values. No zeros. Well, <clears throat> that'll <clears throat> do our reading and writing big numbers with Mr. T for this week. I'm going to send you along a uh, working paper for follow-up, and the work, work, <clears throat> working paper is gonna be slightly different. 
What it's going to ask you to do is it's going to ask you, having seen two big numbers, <clears throat> which one is greater than, which one is less than, and e which one is equal. <clears throat> these are called inequality equations. So when you go through these big numbers, <clears throat> you're going to have to think really carefully, look at all of the families, Look at all the place values in the families and decide for yourself which one's greater, which one's less than, and maybe sometimes, because they'll be tricky, which one's equal. So this is Mr. T doing some math work with your brains. Take care, guys.